Alright guys, today's episode is going to be top 5 underrated characters in PvZ Go Warfare. So, uh, yeah. So these characters are basically, uh, aren't used a lot, but these characters have really strong power in themselves. Like, they're really good, but people just don't really care and they just use all their overestimated characters, which are used a lot. But they're not good. So in today's episode, we are we're gonna spend some time with these characters, have some gameplay, and yeah, let's get into the video. So yeah, landscape. Uh, now uh, this character is pretty much a pretty strong character actually, and he's considered stronger, but people consider him weaker. Now he has now look at that 34 damage. Uh, even even that armor chopper with me. He was using a pretty bad ability so he couldn't get away with it. But yeah, um, yeah. His strength is basically, like, he's probably, um, the, he's, like, look. Like, that is considered, he is considered stronger by mo- from, like, since he can actually auto-fire, he's considered stronger, actually. Shot of her. That's how strong this thing is. And she did. Oh man, I just escaped. Escaped death right there. But yeah. Um, to summarize this character, he can auto fire. Shoots pretty slowly. He's actually. It's not. It's not bad for an auto fire character actually. I'll consider this character um pretty underestimated. Nobody. And Xerox Fusion, for some reason, calls him one of the worst la engineers. Uh, but he had to choose this for some reason. He should have just choose a different engineer, honestly, like the mechanic. So yeah, this... Anyways, guys. The next character on our list... Uh, the number four spot is the Bandit Cactus. Now, this cactus, uh, by many, is pretty underrated. Is pretty bad, actually. Nah. I used to call this cactus one of the worst cactuses in the game, but if I were to say that, a lot of people would hate me for this. Would actually hate me, even though this channel is not. Nobody really knows this channel. Really. Uh, for some reason, my controller glitched out. Yeah, if I was playing on, as another cactus, I would have got him, but I did. I did, and I got killed by an astronaut. I got paid back. <laughs> huh. But anyways, um, so to summarize this character, she's fast. Now this character is not the best. I'll tell you that. You need at least. You need. You need at least like you need all the de the upgrades in for this character to be better. I'm not joking. You need all the upgrades. But yeah, let's summarize this character. Um. Uh, Pretty good, um, has a strong fire rate, should be used as a support character only, not as an offense. If you want offense, play as a pea shooter. If you, want, if you want support and offense, go for this character. Pretty good. Good for range, actually, because her damage does not drop off. In dealing 11 damage, that is pretty strong. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's about it for this one. But yeah, let's just continue. Let's just continue. He even got me. Oh, I did got him with somebody eavesdropped. <laughs>
Hello darkness, my old friend. Too close, my friend. Alright guys, now on the number 3 spot we got the baseball star, hockey star, and golf star. You might be like this, why are you doing all three? The reason why is because uh, these characters uh, actually kind of act the same, you know? So I kind of want to just like add them all together because they're in the same, because they're also in the same um, class. So I'm going to record 15 seconds of these guys. Uh, yeah. So yeah, baseball star. Not really the best all star. For some reason, you get you earn him at level 10 as the all stars, which doesn't really make sense. But but actually, hear me out. He's probably one of the best out of the three, actually. Like, he just drills plants like they're nothing, dealing 7 damage. Oh wow, just, just, just why? With the damage up there. That was a miss, I was like that. But yeah, um... Yeah, next time I die, I'm gonna go. Alright, the Hockey Star. The Hockey Star kinda does the same thing, but he shoots a lot faster. His ma his highest damage I have ever saw him deal is five. You can see right there. The lowest he can deal with zero was zero, but now it's two or one. Yeah, I gotta retreat right now. I try my hardest to not die in these videos. So yeah, to summarize this character, <clears throat> pretty strong, but really suitable just for 1v1s. I would say he's the worst out of the three, but in my eyes, he's not that bad. He's actually rather good. A lot of people don't play as him because they all know that he's not the best. So yeah. Alright, now guys, we got the... Uh, we got the, um, the gold star. Now, as you can see right there, he only deals 5 damage. I don't know why. I don't know what the that dude thinking. Like, really, just don't ask me. Now, it's really difficult to actually see. It's really difficult to know how fast he shoots. He shoots so fast that I cannot even get it on the camera. Like, I don't know how much he does. I don't know how fast he shoots. Meaning that this character is really strong, actually. And he's really meant for, like, um... He's really just meant for, like, um... Long range, sort of-ish, combat. Say combat. <laughs> Alright guys. Now on number two spot we got the Mystic Flower. Wow. Uh probably probably one of the most underestimated sunflowers in the game, I'll tell you that. Heck this character <coughs> this character is so underestimated that Xerox Fusion had to put put her in. On Put her in in the most in the worst in the worst characters list for some reason I don't know why. Yeah, just just don't ask. To be honest with you guys, I kind of do agree with him. This character is pretty underestimated. But due to the buff, um, that she received. Uh, it just makes her a better character in general, actually. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Now I'm gonna play support here. I'm not gonna actually gonna go full on rage and just.
Yeah, you can miss a lot, actually, I'll tell you that. Now she deals a total, a total damage of 72 if you can get, if you can land a headshot. Which is like, about every time I'll tell you that. The, my tip here, try to aim for the slow moving target. Try to aim for the slow moving targets. Like, um, all stars, sniping, pea sh not pea shooters, sniping, uh, sniping, um, Sniping foot soldiers, or heck, even um, stationary zombies, or all. So yeah. Now for splash damage, this character is not doesn't. It's not really the best, actually. And you are pretty slow, actually. I'm pretty good at losing people, actually. <clears throat> so you can see right there, I only got one kill. I'm not really... Like, this character isn't really meant for, for up-close combat. She's normally really meant... Okay. She's mostly used as a sniping character, really. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky these people are pretty bad at the game. I would have got killed, man. Well, actually, I wouldn't have got. I, I probably would, but, um. So, yeah, um, one tip, I'll tell you. Pretty much. Yeah, I forgot to summarize. Good, but can easily be replaced. All right, guys. My camera's battery is is getting low, but yeah, I probably have to charge this than it is. Anyways, um, this is the most underestimated character in the game, or heck, the most underrated, I would say. Um, this character is not really that good, honestly. Reasons why is because the trajectory is unpredictable. Sometimes you would hit them and only deal like 20 damage, you know? And sometimes when you hit them, like heck, even dealing splash damage will sometimes deal like, you know, 70 damage, which is it's unpredictable really. It's like in an arch, you know. Seventy damage, as you can see right there, that's my kill. When I first saw this character, I was pretty amazed. But yeah, to summarize this character, honestly... Man, I was pretty close to dying. But to summarize this character, pretty weak. Not not weak, but you need all the damage up, all the upgrades, which is one damage upgrade and two uh, reload upgrades. Uh, because if you had like an extended upgrade, it would just make this character way too overpowered, you know. So yeah, my so yeah. To summarize, uh, pretty strong actually. Like, look, sometimes you won't even be able to deal any damage. To summarize it, the arch is is kind of hard to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. Um, strong, has good reloading, 
And yeah, that's about it, actually. See you guys in the next one. Peace.